Okay, what I like about all 32 teams. Uh, Anaheim. I like your 90s duck jerseys the most. Those things are beautiful with the purple and the and the green and the I guess they remind me of my childhood and the Mighty Ducks movie and that logo with the fucking duck and his hockey mask and it's beautiful. Go back to those. What are you guys thinking? Arizona. I liked when you guys had uh, Wayne Gretzky as a coach. That was cool. I went to one of the games. I think it was around 2007 and uh Wayne Gretzky was behind the bench. That was pretty cool to see him. And uh, I remember Joe Jovo Cop scored the game winner. And then he came out as the first star and like uh, applauded the entire audience as everyone was just booing the shit out of him. It was a great moment. Boston. I appreciate how relevant Boston has stayed throughout the years. You look at how they kept making the playoffs since 2011 when they won the cup obviously and like unlike vancouver they stayed relevant for a pretty long time buffalo i like rick jenneret he's fucking he's one of the best commentators in the nhl with his fucking the population of pominville and the mayday mayday rick jenneret's the fucking best carolina i like carolina um some people might call like the storm surge thing, the thing they do after the game, like kind of cringe. But I don't know. It's it it adds some personality to the game, and that's definitely what hockey needs. They also have the best reverse retros. Columbus, the cannon they blow at the beginning of the game is fucking. It's cool. More teams should do shit like that. Calgary, they uh, I know the Saddle Dome isn't in good shape anymore but they do have a cool like their arena aesthetic aesthetic is cool with everyone wearing fucking red jerseys and then at the end of the game when they win ring of fire starts playing i think that's really cool chicago uh arguably the best jerseys in the league and you gotta respect their little their dynasty they're on colorado i like joe sackick a lot i liked him as a player he is amazing. And uh, he seems to be a pretty good GM too. Dallas. Marty Turco was a fucking badass goalie. He knew how to handle the puck. Detroit. Again, like Boston, uh, how long they stayed relevant. They had like that huge streak of making the playoffs constantly. They, they have a really good uh, prospect development team. And they obviously know how to draft well. Edmonton. I'll say McDavid. He's the most exciting player to watch right now. He's the best player in the world for a reason. Nashville. I like how Nashville has made hockey work in Tennessee. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think Tennessee would be a good hockey market, but they've it's been going. Florida. The throwing the rats on the ice is kind of funny. If you don't know the story, some player I don't remember who. Maybe I should Google it. Scott Mellonby, he apparently smashed a rat in a locker room with a stick. And then later that night, he scored two goals. And then their goalie, John v Van Breesbrook, said he scored a rat trick. And then the next game, everyone at the arena threw a bunch of rubber rats on the ice. I think it's kind of funny. I, I hope they continue to do that. L.A. I can appreciate what L.A. has done for hockey in California and they've made it actually like a, th a thing in California well it was mostly Wayne Gretzky that did that but they traded for LA or for Wayne Gretzky without that trade who knows there might not be any California hockey players like there might not be any Thatcher Demko maybe Thatcher Demko wanted to play basketball or some shit Minnesota I'll say Kirill Kaprizov's a fun player to watch Kirill the Thrill Montreal it was their last uh, Canadian team to win the Stanley Cup, so that's got to go for something, right? Got to find something nice to say about them. New Jersey. Underrated logo, underrated jerseys. And Marty Berdeur was like my favorite player when I was a kid. The Islanders. The Islanders have that dynasty team back in the uh, 80s. So you, got, you guys had that, so that's why you've been shit for so long. The Rangers. Madison Square Garden seems like a pretty cool arena. Igor Shishterkin. 
is pretty cool goalie pretty good goalie and it looks like you guys did your rebuild pretty good just capo caco needs to find his potential i think alexi lafrenet is gonna even next season he might fucking blow up and see his potential you can see it in his game like it's not he's not a bust he's gonna he's gonna be a very good player someday ottawa i like uh your newer jerseys those look pretty good and i always love the Danny Heatley and Jason Spezza and Daniel Alfredson. Those three were great hockey players. Philadelphia, the Broad Street Bullies. I like Ron Hextall and his temper back when he was a player. Dude would go fucking nuts. Also, Bobby Clark was a pretty fucking badass guy. Well, he's still alive, but yeah, you know what I mean. Pittsburgh, Sidney Crosby, just a, one of the best players of all time. Their ability to win. They won two straight cups recently. And uh, drafting Marc-Andre Fleury. I really liked Fleury before he got drafted. He was always that cool goalie who had bright yellow pads on. San Jose. Evgeny Nabokov. Enough said. St. Louis I can appreciate what, you, what they did in 2019. And being dead last. And then Craig Brewery comes in and you guys win the cup. It also helped that Jordan Bennington was on a hot streak. I forgot Seattle. So Seattle, their arena is really cool. I've never been there, but it looks really cool. And I actually really like their home jerseys. Their away jerseys are right too. Their logo is cool. And that name, Kraken, it's just, it's just cool. Tampa, they're pretty much a modern day dynasty. They didn't get to win three straight, but I don't know. They're still a fucking dynasty in my books. Toronto. Phil the Thrill is a pretty awesome player. I liked him a lot. And you guys got something special there in Austin Matthews. Vancouver. Obviously, I could say a lot. But to pick one thing, I think I'd say Trevor Linden and everything he's done for this organization. It's an absolute shame that he's not with the organization anymore. Hey, Trevor, there's, there's new management. You can come back now. You can come back now, Trevor. Vegas. Our inaugural season was pretty fucking amazing. It was just a pretty good underdog story. Making it all the way to the finals. And losing. It's like the uh, Mystery Alaska movie where he hits the crossbar at the end of the movie. Winnipeg. You guys have awesome fans. And like every time I see that arena, everyone is wearing a jersey. And everyone in every row is fucking cheering on their team. There's none of this corporation bullshit where everyone's like just sitting there not cheering staring at their phones it's like you guys are real fans washington you gotta respect alexander ovechkin probably the greatest goal scorer this game has ever seen okay that's my little list i hope you enjoyed it okay bye